Brought to you by Patreon.com slash Inspired Disorder and InspiredDisorder.com slash Prime. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Bill and Ted face the music. New movie out in streaming because theaters are closed due to the pandemic. I know, it's bogus, dude. But Bill and Ted face the music is not bogus. It's triumphant. They continue the positive energy, being excellent to each other, and trying to find the thing that we've been searching for this whole franchise. What's the song to bring the world all together in harmony? It will align the planets. It will make people stop murdering. What will happen? Now, we last left our triumphant heroes with new babies on stage supposedly making that song. But we all know where it went wrong from there because their career spiraled out of control, man. And now they're on a mission to do the same thing they were doing in the last two movies, which is save the world. One string and cord at a time. But this time, they have little thems. And in this one, you get to see older Bill and Ted. It's so much fun. It's like the kids pick up the torch of positivity and go on their own mission. Meanwhile, Bill and Ted go to find the older thems to find the song that they haven't made yet because now they're old, man. They're so old and they still haven't found out the song yet. But the movie starts off with this really fun marriage sequence where Missy, who was Ted's mom at one point and also Bill's mom at one point, is now getting married to uh, the son, the brother that was never featured in the previous movies, but now he's marrying Missy, so now Missy's exes are all old guys who are now the son of the son, if you know what I'm saying. And the song that they play at the wedding sequence was amazing. Still, it wasn't the song to bring the world together. Are you staying with me? Because that's where the movie starts, and it's hilarious. I think All of the tone and all of the writing and the characterization in this movie truly fits like a glove perfectly in the triumphant, excellent, badass like way that the other movies kind of had the feeling of, if you know what I'm saying. There's symbiosis going on, dude. Okay, it's very symbiotic what's going on with Face the Music compared to Bogus Journey or Excellent Adventure, which I did rewatch leading up to this third and final triumphant addition to the franchise. It's amazing. This is totally a love letter to not only music, but also to friendship. There is a heartwarming ending to this movie that made me tear up made my eyeballs start to sweat in a manner in which I am not comfortable as an insecure male, and I was crying. I was crying, and my heart felt different. It wasn't the weed. It was the movie, and I loved it. It was a good movie. I don't care what anybody says. They added Christian Skull, who's amazing, recently watched Last Man on Earth, and she was amazing in that, and she's a great addition to the cast in this movie. She plays the daughter of Rufus. Rufus, from the first two. Duh, come on. Stay with me now. They are going, she goes back in time again because Bill and Ted still haven't found the song that brings the world together. The world is not together yet. As we see when we look out our windows and we open our doors and we peek outside to make sure the cops aren't here, we see that the world is still burning mess hole of orange leadership and triumphantly terroristic cops. So Bill and Ted need to find the song. 
And on their journey, they find out a lot of other things. They find out love for their wives, the princesses. Okay? Meanwhile, the kids of Bill and Ted, who are basically female versions of Bill and Ted at younger ages, they take the newer time machine brought by Christian Skull, who is Rufus's daughter. Stay with me. They go back in time to find their own band. They're getting backup musicians to play with their two dads to be the best musicians ever and make the song that changes the world. So they go back and they get people like Jimi Hendrix. They go back and get people like names that I don't even know. Kid Cudi shows up at one point. Does he sing? You may be asking yourself, does Kid Cudi sing? No, Kid Cudi doesn't sing. He doesn't rap, but he is very smart. He's too smart for everybody in this movie, and it's a shame because he's brilliant, but he does not sing. Not one moment did I hear a Kid Cudi song. Not one moment did he sing, especially towards the end of the movie where, spoilers, there's a musical sequence that may or may not bring the world together. I'm not here to ruin your day, and you're not here to ruin mine. We're only here to be excellent to each other and party on. And that's what they do at the end of this movie. They party on, and Kid Cudi doesn't do anything i think maybe he just counts which is a little sad and disappointing because when you have somebody who's a star like kid cuddy and he doesn't do any of his star-like qualities in a movie other than being extremely brilliant it is disappointing however there was a robot in this movie sent back to kill bill and ted because they failed doing the song thing but the robot is funny the robot has a very funny sense of humor, which is surprising because it's a robot. Not only does the robot have a sense of humor, but the robot somehow dies because that's right, people. Spoilers! They go to hell! That's right. They find death again. Their former bass player, who's amazing, and left the band. He wanted to do 40-minute bass solos. He wanted to take the name Wild Stallions. So they had to call it quits, and the and death is back in hell, demoted, demoted in hell. But they go back, they go back, including a robot. Somehow a robot dies, dude. That's how epic this movie is. Robots die. People go back in time. Jimi Hendrix is there. Kid Cudi's really smart. How many fingers do I need to count on for you to go see this movie right now at your own home? It costs a lot of money, but it's worth it because it's Bill and Ted and it's a cultural phenomenon. Bill and Ted face the music. I was really totally skeptical going into this movie because I didn't know if it was going to be good. I rewatched the first two movies, the excellent pieces of artistic expression known as Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. I rewatched both of those. Maybe the only thing that doesn't hold up is the fact that they use the term gay disparagingly. That doesn't hold up. But everything else holds up. And this movie is amazing. And they pull it all together at the end of the movie. And there's this great montage of people playing music that really warmed my heart. And again, it made my eyes sweat. That's how gnarly, that's how radical this movie is. Bill and Ted face the music, bro. I can't even explain to you. It, it really was a great day in the history of my life to revisit the first two movies and then to watch this one and experience the end of the awesome trilogy, the awesome franchise known as Bill and Ted. Party on. If you want to help support the podcast, go over to patreon.com slash inspired disorder and become a patron for only $3 a month. Some of the benefits include binging the full week of the Ray Taylor show without any ads. You can also get a coupon code to save a ton of money when you buy my original artwork, The Many Faces. New artwork, new painting comes out every day. And you also get to download the raw Photoshop files for all the Photoshops I do. So head on over to patreon.com slash inspired disorder. Sign up for $3 a month. Get all those benefits and more. Sign up now, patreon.com slash inspired disorder. 
Also, get the many benefits of Amazon Prime for 30 days, all for free, when you go through my link, inspireddisorder.com slash prime. Of course, you get all the Prime movies and TV shows to instantly stream on all your devices, stream music through all your devices, borrow Kindle books, and you get the free unlimited two-day shipping, as always, when you're a Prime member. So go through my link, inspireddisorder.com slash prime, and get your 30 days free of Amazon Prime right now. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad free over at Patreon.com slash Inspired Disorder. Purchase Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com and follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out!